Hey everyone, Rose here, and here's how I made the rig. This is gonna be a really basic FK only rig, because it was pretty much just intended for posing. That being said, I was able to use it for this little animation I made, and I was also able to import it into Unity and upload it to VRChat. So, while it's not perfect for either of those things, it does work. Today's video isn't going to be quite as long and in-depth as some of the other ones, mostly because I'm a little bit sick and I have some other stuff to do, but I hope you guys can still get something out of it. Since this model has a very humanoid shape, I don't really want to spend all the time manually adding and naming all the bones. So, I turn on the Rigify add-on and add in a human meta rig. Then I can just scale it to size and move all the bones into the right position. I make sure I have X symmetry turned on at the top so that everything stays symmetrical. I also have in front turned on in the viewport display for the armature so that I can actually see what I'm doing. I make sure to look at the model from different angles while I'm placing all the bones to make sure all the joints are where they're supposed to be. The default Rigify metric is quite detailed and has a few bones here and there that you might not need for your most stylized or furry characters, so you can just delete and dissolve them as needed. That shouldn't cause you any problems as long as you're not planning to generate a full Rigify rig from it. I also needed to add some extra bones that the Rigify di rig didn't have, in this case for the jaw and the ears, as well as the tail and the tail mole. When adding new bones like this, make sure they're parented to another bone in the rest of the body. And speaking of parenting, now I parent the body to the rig with automatic weights. And I start posing it around to see how the deformation looks. Automatic weights are usually pretty decent on their own, but I still go into weight paint mode to tweak them a little bit here and there. And to streamline the process a bit, I have a couple of settings. For one, in the overlays, I set zero weights from none to active. That way, all the vertices with a weight of zero for any group display as black, and I can tell the difference between something that has no weight in one group and something that has even a tiny little bit and would maybe cause trouble with some other bones. In the properties menu, under tool, under options, I also turn on auto normalize. That makes it so that when I add weight to one bone, it automatically removes that from any other bones. So for example, if one vertex has a value of 1 for the ear, then it can only be deformed by the ear bone and not by anything else, which is really practical. While weight painting, I also make sure to have both the rig and the object I'm painting selected. That way, when I control select any given bone, I can see all the weights for that bone and I can pose the bone itself to see how the deformation actually looks in practice. While painting, I usually take the bones to relatively extreme poses, so I can see how everything deforms when I push it really far. For the painting itself, I usually use my mouse and the, either the add or subtract brush. When I want to make sure something's fully assigned to one particular bone, I set the strength for the add brush all the way up to 1 to make sure everything's fully covered and assigned to that particular bone. But a lot of the time I actually have the strength set really really low, that way I can very very carefully adjust the amount of influence a bone has over a given spot. Occasionally I'll also use the blur brush when I just want to carefully smooth out the transition somewhere. Because this mesh still has a mirror modifier, which comes before the armature modifier, and because the bones are properly named for left and right, Blender automatically mirrors my vertex groups. So for example, any changes I make to the weights for the left leg automatically flip over to the right leg too. Rigify's meta rig already comes with the bones properly named, but if you're making a custom rig or added any additional bones, your left bones need to have a dot L at the end, and your right bones a dot R. Or in edit mode, under armature, you can select auto name left and right, and it automatically names all your bones correctly. Any bones in the center, for example the spine and the tail, don't need any extra auto naming, they just mirror completely automatically. At this point, I'm pretty much happy with the main body. 
So the next thing I do is start working on the additional little pieces that aren't yet parented to the armature. I start with the teeth on the tail maw and the fingernails. Since in both cases all the loose parts are fully assigned to a singular bone, I parent them to the armature with empty groups and then just paint in each piece with the group that it belongs to. For the tongue I make a completely new little armature object and parent the tongue to that with automatic weights. That way I can make sure that the tongue object is only deformed by the tongue parts of the armature and doesn't have any annoying extra weights from the rest of the body. And when I'm done later on, I can just join the two armatures together and make sure that the armature modifier and all the parenting is still correct. Next, I do the earring in the same way I did the teeth and the nails. Then I do the tufts of fur in the ears, I again fill them in with empty groups, and then assign parts of them to the ear bone and parts to the head until I'm happy with how the deformation looks. Then for the brows and lashes, I just assign everything to the head. Now for the eyes, I make another new armature object, and this time with just two bones, one for each eye, making sure that the origin is in the center of the eyeball. Then I parent the eyes to the new armature and make sure each eye is assigned to the correct bone. Lastly, I work on the mouth. I make sure that the bottom and top jaw are both parented to the head and jaw respectively. And then I do the tongue. I do it the same way I did the tongue on the tail maw, making a separate armature for it and assigning the weights. And then smoothing everything out until I'm happy with the deformation. And now for the hair. I make two new separate armatures, one for the front and one for the back, and parent each bit of hair to the respective armature with automatic weights. The armature itself is pretty much just a very basic chain with nothing else to it, and the automatic weights in this case are fine on their own, so I just leave them as is and don't do any more extra weight painting. And now for the clothes. I start with the jeans, parenting them to the armature with empty groups. Then with the pose fully reset, I select the main body and then the jeans and go into weight paint mode. Then up at the top I select weights and transfer weights. And with these settings, I move the weights from the body over to the jeans. I do the same thing for the tank top and the jacket later on. Once I've copied the weights over, I can just go around adjusting them again with the regular old weight painting tools. The only real difference here is that because I don't have a mirror modifier on, my weight painting doesn't automatically mirror over. There might be an option to do that, but I must have missed it. I had a bit of an issue with the jacket where bones would influence random parts of the model where they weren't supposed to, so I had to go around manually cleaning those up, which took a while.
And now with the last of the clothing done, all my weight painting is complete and all that's left to do is join all the armatures back together and make sure everything works. I make sure that everything that used to be a separate armature is parented back to the rest of the rig and make sure that's also the rig that's in the armature modifier for all the objects. And with that done, the rigging is complete. There's not really much to show for a completed rig, but here's the model in a few fun poses. This was quite a short video, but I hope you guys still got something out of it. Also, I forgot to mention it in my last video, but it's June, so happy Pride Month everyone! If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that, and maybe check out one of my other videos to the right. If you'd like to see more of my art or maybe get a commission from me, I've put links to all that in the description below. And I've also put a link to the Discord server. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day and see you all next time.